Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show how I created this image right here. And it's quite simple actually. So I'm just going to close this. And here I've got what I did. So I took a photo of the glass being held with some electrical tape on a tripod and the liquid pouring into it. Then I got, because I wanted to keep it floating, I wanted the base of the glass as well. So I didn't change anything, no camera settings or flash, anything. So I, now I have the base of the glass. Now I wanted obviously bottle pouring the liquid and then the middle of the bottle and then the front of the bottle as well just in case but safe than sorry and now the bottom of the bottle so this way we can have everything so let's hide everything and the first thing I want to do is I want to grab my crop tool and I want to make sure that uh, I'm going to ratio or in this case original ratio so just maintains the proportions of the image but you don't have to do this you can just expand it as you want to but if you crop it the same ratio as the camera shot uh, I think it, sometimes it works better you know it just makes it more real because it's the same ratio so I'm just going to something like so and accept the changes and the reason is very simple I'm going to select my move tool and I'm going to select the glass so this way I can work around a bit better so I've got the glass and now I've got the glass base so lowering the opacity a touch so I can see what I'm doing now with the move tool I can actually command or control T and I can just now align with the other one so I'm just going to zoom it a bit and I want to try to align it with the other one so let's bring down the opacity a touch and see and as you can see it's very nicely aligned so I'll accept the changes and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a black layer mask to do that I'm going to hold ALT or option on the Mac and click new layer mask icon right here so all I have to do now is with a brush and painting in white because I have a black mask I'm just going to reveal the base of the glass like so <coughs> and I want to get a bit more of the black as well so something like this so now we have the glass very cool so because we have the glass I'm going to just select these two layers and uh, holding shift I'm going to click new group so now I have a group called glass so this is this is nice and neat I'm going to hide that for now and now I'm going with the bottle pouring the liquid so V for move tool and I'm just going to move it something like so so I can see what I'm doing and uh, I'm going actually to move it slightly to the side and this is why I've expanded the the canvas so we can play a bit better so we have that now let's go to the middle of the bottle and once again I'm just going to something like so command T control T to free transform and lower the opacity something like this accept the changes because it looks okay yeah it looks alright slightly off but we'll get that sorted in a second let's see the other one I'm going to use this one here let's see if it works better still with move tool selected drop the opacity so I can see and command or control T to free transform oh this one here works better so something like so and the final tweak you can also use the arrow keys to make sure it aligns perfectly and it looks nice so open up the pasty all the way to 100% and uh, 
all I have to do now is just create a black layer mask like before so holding Alt, Option on the Mac and click New Add a Layer Mask icon and with the brush once again just paint like so ok brilliant so we are it's looking good now we have the, the bottom of, of the bottle and we're going to do exactly the same thing move tool click and drag command or control T and I can just now let's bring it down and bring down the opacity and uh, let's align something like so <coughs> excuse me so it's not brilliant but it's not bad either so something like this using the arrow keys now just and I'll accept the changes obviously I would spend a bit more time doing this but at least you get the idea and just like before add a new layer mask and now just paint it like so brilliant so now we have the bottle and I'm going to get rid of the other layer so let's select all of these layers, the bottle layers and add a new group, put them in a group and I'll put bottle so cool now we have two groups we have one with the bottle and one with the glass so what I want to do now is I want to put this in the position I want so what I'm going to do is select the glass group and I'll just put something like so and now I'll grab the bottle and I'll just align with the other one so something like let's drop the opacity of the group so I can see what I'm doing and something like this and I think it's just about right in alignment but we can also fix it afterwards so so far so good so all is good now so let's get rid of some of the areas in here so with the glass uh, group selected I'm just going to select uh, and create a new layer like so and I'm going just to grab my pen tool and I want to cut the glass out so something like this and bear in mind one thing I would spend a bit more time doing this I wouldn't rush it like I'm doing now but at least you get the idea and something like so and if you don't know how to use a pen tool trust me it's brilliant and I promised a friend that I would be doing a tutorial on how to use the pen tool and soon once I get the time I will do it so something like this and as you can see I'm just cutting out just creating a selection and we've got this area right here Oops. one okay and it's not right so let's bring this because it was too far out this handle okay so just tweak this like so and like so and there we go so now what I'm going to do is very simple <coughs> I'm just going to create a selection based on this but before I want to save the path 
so I'm going to double click work path and name it glass okay and now command enter or control return I can actually load this as a selection and I'm going to filter oops sorry select uh, modify and I want to feather slightly so modify feather like let's say five pixels go back to my channels and I'm going to load this as a channel so glass and the reason why I saved the path is because if I want to tweak it I can still use the path and after giving the feather I'm saving the selection with the feather this is why I've got it uh, like this and as you can see it's nicely feathered so we've got the glass selected now let's hide that and let's go to the bottle so with the bottle once again just like before I'm just going to create a new layer above and uh, you don't have to I just do it because I like to have separate layers and just in case I mess up I'll be messing up an empty layer it's no biggie but you get what I mean so what I'm going to do, I'm going very quickly because I don't want you to see me going through all of this process so I'm just going like so so like this Oops. Hey, you saw that window, it was maybe I got the wrong key so something like this And when you try to do this with a bottle, make sure you get a round one. Don't do it like me, because I made my life a lot harder while shooting, because I got uh, a grounds bottle, and the, the the shape of the bottle is not proper round, so it's like a triangular sort of thing. So, avoid to do it. with the bottle this complicated because you need to have get those angles right and trust me it wasn't easy but it wasn't that bad as well but don't expect to get this shot first time because obviously it takes time to do this sort of thing and there you go so now we have the bottle I'm going back to my paths double click bottle uh, load as a selection command return and uh, go into select modify feather the same amount of feathering add a new channel so this way it saves and bottle so whenever I want to come back to this image I've got the selections and I've got the paths that's the only reason why I've got this so now what can we do well I can get rid of this layer to just because it doesn't make doesn't matter now so I've got the bottle group and the glass group so with the bottle group selected I'm going to load the selection of my bottle holding control and clicking on thumbnail works as well so I'll just go like this and add a layer mask now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the glass coming to the glass command or control click on the thumbnail back to my layers click on the glass and add a layer mask so now we have the glass and the um, and the bottle separate so brilliant but now we have the problem that we don't have any drink being poured so I'm going to just disable my layer mask for time being and uh, I'm going just to create a new merge version of this <coughs> so that will be command shift alt e and as you can see I've got a new merge version and all I want to do is grab the lasso tool like this and put it on a, this on a separate layer so I can invert the selection so select inverse 
and delete what's outside. So as you can see now when I'm going to deselect, now that I enable the layer mask again we've got the water, the liquid sorry. So we can bring this to the to our group. If we want or we leave it outside actually because we need to mask it afterwards. So we've got that. Now we have the same thing with the liquid pouring into the glass. So I'm going to disable my layer mask holding shift and uh, command shift alt e just create a new merged version so I'll just go command shift alt e and once again with the lasso tool I just create a selection like this nothing fancy and invert so select inverse and delete that area so command control d to deselect cool so now we have all of this let's enable the layer mask so now it will be very very easy so below the glass I'm going to hold control or command and click new layer icon this way it will create a new layer just beneath the selected layer which was the glass layer and uh, hold backspace so it fills in black because it's my foreground color and as you, as you can see it's coming along nicely so we have the problem here so which is the liquid so this one here looks fine uh, I'm just going to add some levels to get rid of a bit of grayish in here so I'll just go into image adjustments and levels and I'm just going to make the products slightly a bit more dark something like so that's brilliant now I just need to add a layer mask because I've affected this area here and I'll just grab a brush even though that I could use the selection because as you may remember I've created and saved the selection so there we go so we got that sorted now we're going into the bottle as well and uh, like before image adjustments levels and I'll just make it slightly darker like so click OK add a layer mask and just brush it away and I'm going just to make it slightly harder make sure you're painting black on a white mask <coughs> and as you can see we have a cool image there you go didn't take that long and it's not that complicated and bear in mind one thing I saved the selections and I saved the paths so when I can when I save this as a PSD I can also come back if I want to change something let's so I'm just going like so to show you so if I want to change anything on this image let's say the position of the bottle or something and for some reason you don't have this on a separate layer well it's much easier uh, but as you can see it looks quite quite cool now just end this I'm going to create a merged version of this so command shift alt e and I'm going just to filter camera filter and I'm going to add a bit of clarity so I'll just add a bit of clarity because I like it and uh, sharpen the image so sharpen slightly and there you go only took a few minutes but it's well worth it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now